been the hard thing is that I'm just all over the shop because I have all of this plus I'm moving into a new apartment as well so at home everything's a schmozzle here everything's a schmozzle and I just need to sort of you know get at least one area of my life under control because this is tough this is so tough and now Romina's gone home she left today she left this morning and so I'm all alone this is it this is me I'm just cruising around doing my own thing now doing what I can however I can do it. Now, the biggest thing here is that it's in, we're in summer. So I'm trying to work out an air conditioning solution for up there. Because right now, it's just hot. It is so hot. I can't believe how hot it is. A bit of sweat in my mouth. <laughs> so we got this bad boy. And that is like a damn tornado. So good. That's good. Air circulation, highly rated. Okay, so the one thing I've noticed about the fan <laughs> is that the floor is hella like, it's all, you know, that white powdery crap from all the walls and the plastering and all that, so it hasn't been cleaned. Heaps of dust. It's gone all over the keyboard, all over the desk. It's pretty bad. So tomorrow morning, first thing, I need to mop the whole place, give it a nice tidy clean, vacuum it like crazy, and get all this crap away so I don't keep dirtying my, you know, black pants and stuff. So I've decided to go for carpet tiles. I've got a broom as well, ready to rock and roll, and got all the stuff to, it's like a paste thing. You put underneath and it glues the tiles down, but not permanently. That's cool. This is how it looks so far. We just lugged them all up. Emma's helping me. Yay! Yay. <laughs> friends! Friends oh, from thanks. Sydney. Should make it quieter walking around, and it's gonna obviously make it a bit dark. Because right now, is she's pretty bright. White wall here, it's just, it's just hectic. And then obviously, they need to be battened up with insulation, eventually. Let's lay this. Let's lay this carpet down. I bought a new razor, a new shaver, beard trimmer, and uh, I made a boo-boo. <laughs> so the stash is back for the time being. Out of moment. I just look like a seedy, seedy man. So what is it today? It's Thursday. I've been in here for a week and a half now, and Things are moving a little bit, so if things are still moving from here to the apartment, it's still unpacking the apartment, things are still boxed up, all this is still to go to the apartment. It's just taken a while, you know? These things just take a, a bit of time. I've been meeting up with people, been going out on little shoots and stuff, which has been sick. But now today is finally organizational day. So I'm gonna hopefully get most of this stuff upstairs. I've got my office down here now because it is just way too gnarly. It's way too hot upstairs. It's like 32 degrees today, like 34. I'll show you upstairs now. Ho oh, oh. ho. Boom. Look at that. Got full on carpet now. How good. It's already so bright. So bright, so hectic. So I just gotta lay this part down now. That's all tacky and ready to lay some lay some tiles on. Yesterday was hectic. Emma helped me. You guys know Emma. Came to the a little while ago. She's awesome. She gave me a hand doing all this. This takes time, hey. This is like a whole day's work. And then I had that packed, so I had to unpack it all, that's all this stuff here. So I'm gonna tile that up, move that back over there, and start loading things up here before it gets too ridiculously hot. Aircon's been approved, so I'm gonna have a split system. Boom, it's gonna go there. The uh, other unit's gonna go on the outside of this wall here. But this is gonna be the office space, the studio space, the place where I edit, the place that's cool and, you know, just vibey. I'm gonna have my bass set up, so I can just play some tunes and stuff. But that is where we are at today, and that is what we are doing today. Before I start all this, I am going to have a coffee. I'm gonna pump some tunes. I'm gonna start laying them tiles down. That way we go, baby. Today has begun. <laughs> this is Kev, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? He's installing my delicious AC. And today is meant to be a cooker. It's meant to be like 34 degrees, so this is gonna be fun. He's taking the time off on a Sunday, so he can do this for me. What a guy. Booyah, it is done, hooked up, wired up, and uh, we're about to give it the little, little test boy. Let's check it out. Oh, and on the back of the neck. Ah, oh, so good. I'm so happy. That was worth, that was worth the money. I thought I'll do it now, second week in. Get the money's worth, you know. It's actually nippy right here. Woo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Thanks, brother. So I'm happy 
happy to say that I have finished. Whoa. I have finished the insulation installation and I went with foil board. So this is foil board. It's just foam. You can get different thicknesses. Because of COVID, they were just out of all the super thick stuff, which is like double that, literally like that. Would have been better, but it might have been a bit more of a pain. And it's got this mad, it's literally just like foil on the opposite sides that deflects all the heat. And then that side to the underside. And I must say, it has worked so, so well. It's crazy. It was nuts. Oh, hang on, I'll show you, I'll show you. So yeah, so like, you know, I am not an expert at this. I just gave it a shot and this is how it turned out. It took a full on day cutting all this up and doing all of them. So much effort, sweating bullets. It was so hot up there, like ridiculously hot. Even just taping was like over half a day, just taping of every tiny little gap. When I was taping it, the heat that was coming out of those little gaps, it was just burning my face and I'd get my hand up in there. There's all wiring everything up there as well that I had to sort of move out the way to make sure I wasn't drilling you know into these live wires so I wouldn't bloody kill myself and in those gaps it was just pouring out heat put my hand in burn my hand on all the metal like it is roasting up there so I am stoked it has literally worked out exactly as I was hoping it's blocked all the light out thank goodness I'm cool now because that was killing my life but now that the roof is done, that means I can start bringing everything up here, which I'm super stoked about. And I can start finalizing heaps of stuff as well, organizing all my cables and doing all that sort of stuff. Cause I said, well, I want to start fresh. You know, I want to start this place nice and organized. So I know where everything is. Everything's labeled. Everything's nice. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'll give you guys the tour. Obviously, there is a lot to still happen here, such as these windows, they need to be blinded up. And also, I want to paint the whole place, I want to get it all nice and dark and moody, I want to fix up the ceiling, get it all blacked out, soundproofed and everything, so that when it rains, it's not too loud, and that when I'm talking, la la la, it's not echoing so much either. For now, I'm stoked. I'm stoked with how it's sort of all turning out. The vibe's good, it's nice and cool in here. The light is dimmed by the, the roof now, which is awesome. I wanted to give that feeling that you're in a shop almost. Everything's all nice and laid out. You can sort of, you know, pick and choose like, oh, I like that, oh, I like this, this is. And it's just mad having all the brands that I've worked with out on display for everyone to see as well. Throw all my jackets, all my pants are down there as well, some extra gloves here. This gets the most interest, obviously, because it's just a whole bunch of helmets everywhere. But yeah, same vibe, so it's all just, you know, everything's out on display, everyone can see it. And it's cool for me as well, being able to see how many damn pairs of gloves I own. Being able to mix and match, like choose a pair of pants, choose a pair of boots, gloves, goggles, helmet, jacket, out the door, baby. Then behind me, I've got all my camera gear, lenses, all action cam sort of stuff, batteries and everything. ND filters, microphones, and then stands down the bottom. And I do need to work out some, you know, a bit of lighting sitch because I've only got a few little little LED lights and stuff, which aren't really cutting it. And then this is cool. So this is like my little workspace up the top here. So this is a little a donut ring, so I can just like grab a helmet here, grab a helmet, plonk it on this, whoop, and then I can start working on it and putting GoPros and running cables and everything all inside. And it's just safe for the helmet as well. It's not gonna fall off. It's all nice and cushioned and everything. So that's pretty cool. I want like a permanent top down camera and then a nice light source here so I can work on my bench and show you guys some stuff. Lots of GoPro mounts all in here. You can see how uneven that light is already. Like I'm blocking this window. So I need to buy some blinds and block all of these out. It should be a bit better. Be more controlled and then that's all my storage you don't really need to see that and then that's my workspace that you let here i gotta get more sound panels for this section here so the soundproofing helps there a little bit when i'm doing camera talk you know and also it's really cool that i got my double bass up here and my bass guitar so if i feel like pumping out some tunes i can damn well do so now nothing here is set in stone by any means it's just as it is right now i've just got like a start you know so i think it's a good starting point i'm stoked with how it's all turning out I'm um, excited for, you know, how this is gonna end up turning out. It's pretty damn fun having your own space and being able to do whatever you want with it. Got a vibe. It's a vibe. I can work up here now. Stoked.
Let's go, baby. Look at my tools, it's so messy. Ugh, there's still so much to do. <laughs>